going to lay down on your back so that your leg is able to be, so that one leg is able to be up comfortably, but then the other leg is able to fall off of the edge of it. Tuck your butt under, get your back flat, completely flat against the bench or whatever you're on. This is key. Back completely flat, hips tucked under. Keep that back super flat, keep that hip tucked under, and then slowly lower down. Exhaling, and then inhale to come back up. So, at that bottom range, you should be feeling a stretch right through here. If you're not, then this either needs to be tucked more, or you need to let the leg fall more. So one thing that can be helpful with this, because if you let that tuck leg go, then you're not gonna get the stretch here. You can even put your thumbs on the pointy part of your hip bones and feel for that not letting it move and fill. To add weight, add challenge, if that feels easy, you can either use an ankle weight, or if you have dumbbells and a little band, you can put the band around it like so, and then put your feet through, or foot through the loop. And then it's the same thing. So tuck on your back completely flat, don't let it lift up. Exhale is lower. Feel that stretch right here, and then inhale to come back up. Don't feel the stretch in the front right here. Got to play around with it a bit. Your back's probably coming up a little bit, and it might feel like it's not coming up. Maybe just a tiny bit and mess it up. Um, or you may need to kind of push your hip a little bit more to get more movement. 